Alright guys, I have this product to show. I actually bought this product for camping because um, last time I got a little warm in my tent so I wanted a little bit of air circulation going on in there. Pretty small area so I didn't need a big fan. This is the Arctic Breeze Pro uh, fan with base and what's cool about it is you also have four USB ports in it and then on the top here is a fan control and your cord can actually wrap up and stow in the bottom here pretty easy, store away there in the bottom pretty easy. One thing I don't quite like about it is this fan is really wobbly. It kind of can move all over the place, so it's not set in very well. You could glue that down if you wanted. Um, I'm thinking about just epoxying that down. Otherwise it works fine, but it's a little wobbly until you just get it set in place. But really cool thing about this fan for the tent is I can use one of these batteries. And I'm not exactly sure how long it's all going to last, but it should last me for a night no problem. This 7,000 milliamp battery uh, if it runs out after one night's use, what's really cool is while I'm camping, I can use my Goal Zero Nomad 7. This is a solar panel charger with a standard USB plug, and I could charge my backup battery during the day, and then at night I can use it for a fan, and also something else. There's more to show you guys here. So this is a real simple fan, and this is really all I need because in my tent, I have my light here. Uh, simple rechargeable light, small and easy, I like this, not very big. However, we have some other options. So let me go ahead and plug this in and get this going. <coughs> and this knob will adjust the speed from, it says 800 to 1800 RPM, I believe, yep. So you got 800 to 1800 RPM. And as you can see, the fan stays where you put it, but you can pretty much swivel it around, bend this wherever you want. Now it blows air but it doesn't blow a ton of air. You're going to want this pretty close to you. So if you're kind of warm at night in the tent, you might want to have this, you know, just a few feet from your face. It doesn't go that fast, so it's not going to kill you if it touches you, but it's, you know, you don't want it to hit you really. Now let me show you the cool thing about this what I did. Now this light, like I said, is big, but not too big. This is very good light and it lasts a long time. It hasn't died on me yet. I've used it for a couple days. I haven't charged it yet. <clears throat> but we got what we got here is Goal Zero LED light strips with USB. So what we're going to do here is plug this into the back USB here and I've actually got two of them. Might need only one but I just got two. They're about eight bucks a piece. So now I can direction this light wherever I want and I can have light throughout my tent and do whatever I want with that. So there's a couple lights that's awesome. And then for a little bit extra I figured hey this fan might be good enough it might not be. So I got another couple of these. They're smaller. These are also Arctic brand but they're without the base and these just plug into USB and their sp speed is based on the uh, input they're getting. So there's a second and even a third. So now if I pointed this, let's say I had my head over here sleeping somewhere, I could point these towards my body, maybe one towards my head, one towards my you know body and one towards my feet or something and uh, have really nice uh, airflow and lighting and to turn off the lights you know just unplug them um, and if you wanted to turn off the whole system you could just unplug it from your power source and then it'll be off. So the nice thing about this is it just runs off one of these which as I said I can charge real easy with my solar panel during the day so at night I can have light as well as the fans. I can even run this during the day uh, just like one fan off a different. I got many of these uh, backup batteries. I, while I'm charging this I could just run one fan during the day maybe blowing on my dog if he's in the tent. But um, really cool thing because other than this base which the base one I only bought because I had the four USB ports but other than the base these things pack down pretty small. I mean taking a couple of these fans and a couple of these lights in a bag is pretty much nothing. You know, th these lights will fit in the bottom of my duffel bag where where I put my tent stuff, like my sleeping bag and stuff, I put in a duffel bag. So those will fit pretty much anywhere. So just those alone would be awesome. Uh, you know, you can use these directly with your uh, power port here. So you don't have to um, use that base if you don't want. Let's say you just wanted one light and one fan. You know, you have that going just fine too. 
<clears throat> so lots of different options. Um, like I said, I just bought the uh, big one because uh, it had those four USB ports, and I figured it's nice to have those extra USB ports. But it does take up more room uh, in your duffel bag than just these. So not a lot of um, fan strength, like I said. But for inside a small tent, I got a three-person tent, inside a small tent like that, it should provide just that little bit of cooling, little bit of air flow to just keep it a little bit cooler in there. So I wanted to show these products. Um, talked about a lot of different things here, including this solar pad, which is really awesome. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And uh, I'll let you guys know more about how these work once I take them out camping and test out uh, everything with how long they run and everything like that. I might do a home test tonight. I'll put in the uh, description of the video once I do a home test or a camp test how long this 7000 milliamp battery works while using these. Um, but for now, seems great. Have any questions, let me know. Happy camping. We'll see you guys later.